Don't you? Oh, my. Oh, look who it is. I did not count on seeing that wagon again. Nor you, for that matter. The only people you won't be seeing are the folks who took it. Uh, I take it they aren't the only ignorant bullying clodhoppers in these parts. But I can live in glorious hope. Yeah. It wasn't a trouble now, was it? No, it was a pleasure. Well, let me give you something for your pleasure. Ah, what we got here. Ah, how about this? Provide a man a tincture, he'll be well for a day. Teach him to make one, he might be well a while longer. I'll make sure to try and make this. Thank you. Thank you. It won't work for anything chronic, but you may not need it to. Well, if you see me on my travels and you're in need of something, Make sure you come and say hello. Travel safe now. Every time. Damn that horse. Hello, mister. Hello. I, I, I'm looking for my mate Gavin. Somebody help me! Gav? Gav? I've lost my friend! Hey there.
out. Hey. Don't be causing no yeah. more ruckus around here, yeah, all right? Hi, mister. She nice bad. people around here. Yeah. Oh, so my brother died. So my friends died. Don't look quite right. When use? Start picking out a box for yourself if you don't got that money, you will Leopold Strauss. I, I don't. I, I, I need more time. Doesn't everybody? That casket for you? Or you want another? Wait, 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 wait. I, I, I can get it for you. But uh, well uh. Come with me to the churchyard. And stay cl close. Hmm? All right. Oh, this ain't right. I, I mean, I I'll get you your money, but, uh... Oh, well, you'll see. What ain't right is borrowing money you can't pay back. I, I guess, I guess, I guess you you're correct, but, uh... This, it, it ain't exactly right, what we're doing. You ain't the first to put his hand in the collection box, and you won't be the last. Rest a little easier knowing church has been taking more than they need off poor folks since time began. Well, like I said, well, the morality of the matter is a little more confusing than that. <sighs> I said stay close. Okay, you head on in the church, I'll keep watch. Well, it ain't in there. It's under here. I'm digging up Mrs. Claypole. Jesus! Well, she got a bunch of jewels in there that she don't need. Oh, damn it. There's a bunch of people here. Oh, I got it, I got it. Look, you clear them off. And I'll wait right around here. But don't hurt nobody. We don't want no fuss. Don't be shy. Ain't no one around. Just my auntie. Your auntie's long past prudishness. It's disrespectful. You'd rather disrespect the living, <gasps> breathing just... woman you got here in front of you? Can't we just get married like normal folk? You two might want to find somewhere a little more private. We was fine until you got here, mister. Good day now. Get out of here, kids. Move! Come on. I knew we shouldn't have been... Don't be shy. Ain't no one around. Just my auntie? Your auntie's long past oh. prudishness. Get out of here, kids. Move! Come on. I knew we shouldn't have been here. You missed your chance, boy! Ma'am? Would you mind clearing out of here for some uh, maintenance work? Oh, gladly. It's about time this place got cleaned up. It's all clear. All right. Now go watch the gate. I'll get to this, uh, this exhumation.
Hello there, sir. Can I get by, please? Uh, I'm sorry, ma'am. The church grounds are closed for maintenance work. Hmm, well, it's about time, too. The place was in need of some care and attention. Gentlemen, church grounds are closed. I don't care very much what they are. We're looking for some privacy. You get this guy? Goody two shoes. Get the hell out of this churchyard. Are you boys gonna need yourselves a preacher? You hear this fella? I heard him all right. We're gonna lick you. Uh, uh, I'm gonna beat you, boy. Got some nerve on you. Well, here's your payment. Oh, forgive me, Mrs. Claypole. What you find? Well, she had a brooch here. It looks like diamonds. Well, this'll do. Now get out of here before someone sees you. Can't believe it's come to this. <laughs> All right, well, uh, am I out of here? That's more than than clear what I what I owe you. <laughs> What you want? You okay? <laughs> 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 
Do I look okay? <laughs> no. You look awful. <clears throat> awful. Look at me. Useless. I wasn't born to this. I didn't deserve this. I used to be a gentleman. Jeremiah Compson. Compson stead. Good for you. If that's anything to boast about. They took everything from me. Who did? They. And what did they take? My whole life. A whole way of living, a career. I stole a lot of things, but that's quite a lot to steal. Look at me here, living in the shit and the mud. I'm sorry. <laughs> my old house. The house my grandfather built. It's all dilapidated and destroyed. Repossessed by the bank. I'm sorry to hear that. I was supposed to live a different life. Me too. If only I could get my old things back. Personal mementos. A watch. Old pistol. My ledger. Where's this house again? Compson's stead. It's a north of... Scarlet Meadows. <laughs> Banks says I can't go near it. I'm living rough over by Harris Field. Well, if I'm ever out that way, I'll see what I can do. Time. Time is hell. What? That son of a bitch deserves a noose. Sure thing. We understand each other. I, I do have a thirst on me. I'd, I'd sure appreciate that help, mister. This man... He understands.
Are you busy, Arthur? Why? Well, I know you think I'm just some effete buffoon. A what? A man of words and not of action. Hardly a man at all. Well, I think you're as slippery as an eel in an oil slick, but still a man. Because I think I've... I found something interesting. Yeah? Have you ever robbed a stagecoach? No, never. I would have even thought. Of course I robbed a goddamn stagecoach. You know I have. And what's the problem with stagecoaches? The armed man attempting to put a bullet in your head? Not quite. The odds. I mean, is it worth the robbing? Sometimes. I know. But, well, if you'd like to come with me, I can introduce you to a new best friend, and he's he's going to give you all the decent, robbable stagecoaches a hot-blooded degenerate could require. Well, I could require a whole lot. Where do we find this friend of yours? Roads. Because what can possibly go wrong there? Well, lead the way and we'll find out. You sure seem to have got about around here. You know me. I like to make friends in low places. How the hell you end up down here anyway? I could ask the same of you. I have a few commitments over this way. Some expenses to me. Expenses? What expenses? Gentlemen's canes and rabbits to pull out of hats? Would you please slow it down? Can't we just ride together? So, you were saying? Among other things, I had quite a nice little business going for a while. Shares in a gold mining company. Excellent returns for the investor of a certain financial standing. Might you wait for me? Is my company all right then? Anyway, you were saying... Until, well, that unfortunate run-in with the law. Here we are. We can hitch up outside. I'll make the introductions, Arthur. <laughs> Come on. Hang back a bit and let me do the talking. We don't want to scare him off.
Alden. Oh, hello, Joe Zah. How have you been? Dandy. And you, friend? Uh, like I said, times are tough. My missus is a bad woman. Terrible woman. They often are. But how's work, Alden? Terrible. Wages got cut again. They reckon they just invented a new horse's carriage will be the end of us. <laughs> They've been saying that nonsense since they invented the wheel. The witness of bosses. I know. My comrades here and I are greatly discouraged from the adequate fulfillment of our duty. A discouraged man is no man at all, Alden. No man at all. My friend Arthur here has a present for you.